This is Dear Shumish Tabura as we continue learning Simin Lamid Beis. And today we're going to be learning Siv Vav, Siv Zayin, and the beginning of Siv Ches. And again, if anyone would like to partner in sponsoring and disseminating these wonderful, well, not the, the Shirma wonderful, but the Mishtabura and the Shulchan Aruch is wonderful, please be in touch. And we begin with Siv Vav that teaches us, Ein Esarich Lesartit. You don't have to do a Sirtot. What is Sirtot? Sirtot is etching in the lines into the cloth. Kiim Shita Al-Yoyin aside for the top line. Vimeni Yodei Lashayra Shita Bloy Sirtot. But if you don't know how to write straight without the Sirtot, you know, like we always wrote as kids, is you write and you go down and down and down, then what continues at the Shulchan Aruch? Yisartit Kol Ashurais. Then you should create in all the lines. Continues the Machaber. You should not make lines with Ayferes with lead. Because it's going to remain the color there. Hagos says the Ramav. Some say no. You always need to make a line top, bottom, and sides. Even if you write without after, without tirtut. So whether you're able to write straight or not, says the Rama, our minag is to do tirtut. Says the Mishnah Bura Sefkat and Chav Shita Yena the top line. Moai Misham the Tefillin Ain Allah Lach Lomashim Sinai Le Sartet Kmoi Mezuzah. Habay Mezuzah Lach Lomashim Sinai requiring the lines, says Mr. Bura, with regard to Tefillin, which we're discussing primarily, there is no din of Sirtot, there's no Allah Lomish Messina requiring such. Rak Misham to Asa Lichtav Gimel Teimos Bipasik Vili Sirtot. You're just not allowed to write three words from any Pasik without Sirtot. al came therefore, Kshem Sarti Shital Yen Adai, when you make one top line, that's enough. Why? Kisam and Eodim Yodin Lamin Yodav, says Mr. Bura. I guess maybe in a world without lines paper, everyone knows that I keep their hands straight, Lichtav Kola Shitas Yishara is right, everything straight. Akshikasa Shital Yaina. Ah, once the top line is straight, and everything underneath it will continue straight, says the Mishnah Bura. And since there's no Allah Lamosh Misinai, therefore there's no problem. The Kamar ain't Sarch. And we said in the Shalom, you do not need Misham Dim Yer to the Sati Kola Shitin. If you want to make lines with all the lines, Kidei Lichtav Yaser Be Yaser, so that you can write even more straight to the Yabu's Hashitas versus Bayadai to make it more beautiful, you're allowed. Fim Loisir to Tafilu Shital Yaina, if you didn't do even that, Ayin and Bir Alacha continues with Shabura Sivkat and Chaf Aleph that you started Kol Ashurais Pirus Lachatzila Misham Zakei Levaneu Avol B'Diavid Afilu Mloi Sirtot Vikas Vashitas Akumais Let's say you didn't do Sirtot aside for the top line and when you wrote it wasn't straight Ain Lives Al Tefillin Tefillin Not Basel By Faris We shouldn't do the Sirtot By Faris Says Mishpurus Have Got the Chaf Beis What does that mean V'Chaim B'Diav And similarly with Ink Ube Sikra V'Chol Kei Tzvizah Anything That Leaves a Mark V'Afilu Bein Ashit And Also the Sirtot By Even Between the Lines V'Chol Zel Lechatzila Avol but the other a lach, Mir says the Mishnah Burakin, because of Lachum Chamuz Al Yerav, which was very small, and Shinsav Chbeis and Vavki was them. Oh, he wasn't happy with this. And Mizarti Bishum Savish Alchar, if you make a line with any color, Machmas Negias Ois by Ois, because it's going to touch each other. The Asir to the Shachar, the black line is going to make the letters touch. And Lord, the Kasa Midakas Asir Tot, I in Sham, unless you were underneath the Asir Tot, and we should look over there before we go into Siv Zayin over here. Let's see some pictures. Here you have. Um, right, here you have, uh, uh, no, it's not so hard to see. Over here in picture B, what do you see? You see that's a regular piece of cloth, obviously, with all the lines etched in. Over here in picture Aleph, they're showing you just making the sirtut on the top line. And over here in picture Gimel, they're showing you that once you make the sirtut on the top line, then all the other lines remain straight. Well, as you see, my lining is not necessarily so straight, but that is what the Mr. Bura was teaching us. And over here... Um, not picture number two, perhaps that's more like I was doing, that says Mr. Bura that even after the top line is straight, sometimes the subsequent lines aren't so straight. Still, we said but yeah, but that would be okay. And over here in the final picture, it shows you, even though it says in Sarak, but you're allowed to etch in all the lines in the tefillin. And the Bir Alach over here, as we'll just show the picture for a moment, deals with a Sefer Taira, the type of Sirtut that is necessary. As we turn over over here, Mr. Burr Sivkatan Chaf Aleph, 
this dear, this picture is just showing you so beautifully that Zekili van Veyo and picture B is on the left side. You see over here that it's not so beautiful, but after you make all the lines, of course, the ice, it's going to come out much nicer. And over here, it's teaching us that if you have the sirtut with a pencil, as you see over here, making a black line, then the concern is that the letters are going to become uh, the letters, yeah, right over here, it's a beautiful picture, wow. You're going to see that the letters are going to touch that line and it's going to blend in with the line, which can come into an issue. Whereas, Mr. Bruce said, if you're writing underneath the line, then that's where he concluded that perhaps there's more mucka to Yimikol because you don't have this issue of touching the line. Of course, we know that what our minog is, is to make the lines on everything. We do sirtut, we don't use a pen or marker or any type of ink. We etch it in. And over here, just finally, this picture is showing us the two sides of the cloth. Um, you have the sada sayer, and then you have the sada basar. Of course, the sada basar is the smoother side, and that is where we do the sirtut, and that is where we write this the, the stam on it. We continue with Sif Zayin. Says the Mishnah Bura Allah Khlamash Sinai. The Allah Mesh Sinai is filling all the clap al duch sostis. That's filling up the rain on a specific type of clap. Veloy Alak Vil Nanangvil. Not on regular parchment. Like we just saw in the picture. If you're on the cloth on the bosser side, excuse me, that's what you're supposed to write. Not on the sayer side, on the bosser side, not on the hair side, on the smooth side. Vimshina, it's possible. Mao klav mao dochsostis explains the machaber and sevzain. What is the difference between klav and dochsostis? Like he just taught us that you're supposed to write in klav and not on dochsostis. Haar bishas ibura ibu. When you do the tanning process, the hides are split into two. The in the outer portion to the side sayer towards the hairy area. That's nikra cloth. That's the good stuff. That's what you're supposed to use for your stam, your sifri, your svarim tefillin mezuzais. But apanimi on the inside side, that davuk lebosh that's connected to the flesh, nikri duch solstice ulafiza. And because of this, says the mechaber, when we said that you write the cloth in the place of the bosser, high. He's teaching us that when they hide the skin, the animal, the piece of uh, hide is split into two. You have the part that is on the outside, which is the good part, the part of the inside. Explains the machaber when we say b'makam basar means on the outside towards the basar, meaning the inside of the outside. Because the outside of the outside, that's the hairy part, that's no good. The inside of the outside, that's the good part. The place that the two parts are touching, when it's touching the and our cloth that we don't split as din of a cloth because we still write in the sad balser. That which they split the klipa, the outer klipa, the part of the hair, just to make it smooth. Even if they were split in half, you took the garim and ukach yourself to smooth it out. All we do, we keep on doing that until we have the cloth left. We'll see a few pictures of this in a moment. Let's just begin to chas as per the Dershu calendar. Sarech haklav liyos me'ubad has to be tanned. Ba'afatzim ay besid, if you're afatzim or besid, besarech she'im me'ubad l'shmoi. Important that when you're creating the t- the cloth itself has to be done lishma says Mr. Bura and that's where we're going to stop but says Mr. Bura and this is the likuva this holds back the mitzvah it's not called cloth unless you treat it with this afatim and sid and you have to put the r into the sin until the hair falls off not that you smooth it out not that you sand down the ha- the hair. No, it comes off by itself with the tzid. Let's say you take it off. Don't write on it. Then that's called diftera, which is not klaf, and therefore it's possible. It's not possible. Because there's some arguments say the cipher is If you put the R, the hide for four days into the tzid, you take it out. But I am all of our seers melem, and the hair is not off of it. Nira bivyevin ink made. That's not a problem. They'll tell you to say your klal. So some old. It's not a din whether they hear on it or not. The kimon de kvar unach, but say v'nitzkan kahigen loy mikri difter ayin shal. Once you put it into the seed for the right requisite amount of time, that is enough. Even if there still is some hair left on it, it's not going to be a problem. Before we call it a day, let's just see some pictures over here. We saw already the sad seer and sad basar. Um, that's the Bir that we spoke about. 
And here we have it. Here we have the Shulchan Aruch in Sif Zayin teaching us, and here they're showing you three different types of uh, paper, a little bit hard to tell the difference, Klap, the Chlusis, and Gvil. And furthermore, showing you, you have to write on the side, Basar. Now here we have the picture showing you as we explain that they take this piece of uh, hide and they split it in half and you have the clap and the chlostis. The outer area with the sayer, that's where the clap is attached to. The bottom area, that's the chlostis. And when you split it in the middle, the bottom of the outside area, that is what we refer to as clap. The inside of the outer area, the part in which the two areas are touching. Now here is showing you a picture of our hides <coughs> that we don't split them they just, you know, peel off the outer layer, and that's going to be okay. And here is a picture, apparently, uh, this is the machine that they, they create the chlusis, that they smooth it off. And they're showing you that they just take off the whole bottom area, and that is how they create cloth nowadays. But you still have to use the sad ha basar. And finally, okay, that's where Allah discusses it, and we're going to pick up with... These are all the different Biralachas showing all the different processes. We'll pick it up from the rest of Sivchas the next year. Bisiyata Dishmayo.